I, I could scan the system and make a claim, but I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'll put in for my uh, for the delay bet. What's this about? Yeah. For so the delay I, bet, I'll put in. Oh, so everybody's here in my set. Uh, well, whoever's listening right now, and I don't see a number in my set at all, so it's still warming up. And then there's that delay that we have to deal with. Yes. Like, yes. Somebody timed it the other day. It was actually 15 seconds. Really? Yeah. So depending yeah. on, I guess, where you're at. The high speed ability right. of the cable system. And that's a real scientific term. High speed ability. That's real. High speed ability? That's right. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm saying that that's a real word. Have you gone to there school go. for this? Uh, for for this, Self what we're doing right now? For the high no. speed ability. For high speed ability? Those words. High speed ability? Yeah. yeah. I would say that I've been to school. To school of hard knocks. <laughs> Taught me well. <laughs> The school of learning on the fly, yeah. trying to figure it out. Just trying to yeah. figure it out. Winging it. The school of winging it. I do see some people starting to tune in. Hey. Thanks for tuning in to Porch Cats Pottstown. Matt Green and Andy Wolf are your hosts of Porch Cats Pottstown. Porch Cats Pottstown is live news and updates for Pottstown and the surrounding communities. We have a little bit of uh, conversation mixed in with that, too. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little little bit, little touch. A little bit of conversation. A little, little bit of conversation. All right. I can never remember how to get these to comment. There we go. My God. Remember, it. folks, to let us know once you check into the show, just throw a comment up there in the chat box. You can say hello. You can say whatever you want to. Uh, mm -hmm. Open up the open up the show in open full up the screen. Dialogue. Yeah, open up the dialogue. Open up the show in the full screen and start hitting that like button and that heart Multiple button times. as much as you can. I literally, when people do that, I can the numbers jump up. You can see it. Yeah. 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 Love it. So help us out. Help spread the word. Like it. Love it. Thanks for tuning Excellent. in to the Porchcast Podcast. We're live on Matt Green and Glock Real Estate mm -hmm. on Facebook. We're live on Porchcast Pottstown on YouTube. Still getting people trickling in with their subscriptions to YouTube. What are we up to now, Matt? I think we're up to 167. All I right. still need to sit down and put some effort into trying to get the... Um, Whatever this contest is or this giveaway that we're going to do, since we've re we passed 150. Okay, so you owe something to somebody. Yeah, because that's what I said. I said if he, if we get up to 150 subscribers, that we will have a a giveaway. Okay. So I'm going to just do it as a raffle. I was going to give it to the 150th subscriber, but I've kind of lost track of who that person is. You'd have to really go back and yeah. kind of piece it together as to who that 150th was, right? Yeah, so I'm going to find out who, everyone who subscribed to the channel, put their names in a hat, and just draw somebody out, right? That arm is like right in front of the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll try to keep my hands there. That's okay. I, I have zero Italian heritage, but I still talk We have a lot of hand hands. talking. Yes, yeah. we do. You're a big hand talker. I am. All right. It's nice to be back here at the pub. I mean, I like shooting at my house, but nice to be back here at the pub. Kate, well, I want to say hello. Hello, Kate. So Kate is at my house right now. Nice. Yes. Uh, so Kate and Rhonda are uh, visiting from um, Kate's from uh, Minnesota, and Rhonda is from Wisconsin. Rhonda used to uh, check into the show sometimes when we were on the porch in the early days. Yeah, I do remember yeah, her. Rhonda Smith. Yep. Uh, so they are on their way to the Girls with Guts retreat, which is in upstate New York this weekend, and um, I'm not going because yeah. wow. I just got back from Scotland. I took uh, 10 days off of work. And then I was off for two days for the holidays, and I'll be off two days next week for Yom Kippur. So it's just a lot of out of the office. So and you were probably afraid your luggage would get lost. Probably, as yes. Well. <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, so they um, were driving from the Midwest to upstate New York, and I said, "Why don't you swing through Puff Town and see me?" So they did. So I'm very nice. Pleased. Yeah. So they're just hanging out at my house right now. The girls with guns. Yes. Cool. Yes. I, maybe I will stop by and say hello because I would like to meet some girls with guns. Absolutely can. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, people are going to notice that we have a guest tonight. Uh, Joe Rusevich uh, is the executive director of the Foundation for Pottstown Education. Pottstown, the Foundation for Pottstown Education does a hell of a lot of work. Yes. To enrich the uh, educational opportunities and to and extracurricular uh, activities, activities as well. At Pottstown School District. So thanks for coming in, Joe. Joe's a regular watcher of the show. A regular contributor. All the time. A regular um, kind of, you know, shit disher ever. 
Yeah, very good. Yeah. That's a very good term. <laughs> yeah, he's good. All in good fun. All in good All fun. In good All fun. Yes. yes. But be prepared to compete because Joe's a competitor. Yes. And um, I would say this: like um, one of the one of the hard contributing porch tenants. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's fantastic. There's. You learn a lot by listening to you two and your guests about what's going on in Pottstown, mm -hmm. and, and it's a great, great way. And um, most of the time, you're entertaining. I would say. <laughs> we try. Well, and that's like hanging out with friends, right? That was a general you. Yes. Even though I looked at you, it wasn't specifically. It was really him. him. It was really it was him. Really him. Yeah, right. you, you've yeah. got it. <laughs> I'll take it right on the chin. Thanks for coming in, Joe. So, why don't you just start chewing into some stuff? Because we do have some people watching the show. Do you know what I want to know about the yeah. foundation? When was the foundation created, and and what was the impetus for it? I mean, I can guess what the impetus was for it, but right. when was it created, and and um, out of what was there something specific that it was born from? It, it started uh, in 1985, and it was formed by the school board. Okay. The school board actually ran the foundation at the time, and it was because at that time, Mrs. Smith's Pies was moving out, all of the industry was moving out of Pottstown, so the tax base yeah. so was they were anticipating that the tax exactly. base was really going to exactly. up. Yeah. So you know, along with the businesses, people were moving out to go with you know go with the company mm -hmm. wherever they they uh, went. So uh, the school district had it, and uh, they would have quarterly meetings after the school board meeting. And if you've ever seen one of the school board meetings, you know how long they can be. Yeah, to have so a meeting after that. That's yes. exhausting. Yeah. So in in nineteen um, excuse me two thousand nine, they disbanded, and the same night formed the Foundation for Pakistan Education. Oh, I didn't realize it was that recent that it kind yes. of. That, you know, came into its own existence. Existence as as their own five. Well, they were a five hundred one c three all along. We're just now independent board, mm -hmm. independent of the school district. Right. Uh, my office is in the school district building, but other than that, I'm not an employee of them. I'm an employee right. of the board of directors. Right. So um, that's how it that's how it came about. I, I, the school board at the time, I th think, thought there was a conflict of interest. That they were raising funds for the foundation as a nonprofit, right? And so they did the right thing and, and developed this yeah. this organization. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense to just keep it clean. It really is like an it's an auxiliary, right? So just like exactly. when the hospital was nonprofit, there was a hospital auxiliary, and I'm really right. like dating myself, Matt. Your parents were probably like on the, hosp the hospital auxiliary board at one point, right? Or uh, my, dad, my dad has been on the hospital board right. a couple of times, but I'm not exactly sure what his role is. Yeah, but there was a there was a hospital auxiliary, and there was a um, when Pottstown had a symphony, there was a yes. symphony auxiliary as well. Right. So it's right. kind of that same uh, concept of running alongside, but being a separate entity right. to support. And and we were fortunate too when the symphony disbanded they donated their funds that they had to the foundation oh i must have known, i must have known that somewhere in the back Probably of my head that I, I, heard that, that, that I brought yeah, it up and if i don't mention that myra forrest my yeah. predecessor would be upset right because that was one of her babies both the sure. symphony mm -hmm. and the foundation but um we were yeah, able so whatever to, was left in their coffers they donated they donated and we were able to bring the pennsylvania symphony in uh, mm -hmm. to, to perform for the district students um with the funds till they ran out right Nice. So there's there's a, a lot of history and ties mm -hmm. into Pottstown, you know, from, from different right. And things. how long have you been with the foundation? It's coming up on six years. Wow. In December will be my mm -hmm. sixth year. So okay. it's flown by, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. I really have. Yeah. It's, it's a great, we have a great board, mm -hmm. terrific board that is very involved. Um, they actually come to meetings prepared. We send out <laughs> minutes and, and right. of Imagine all the committees. That. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they, we send out the minutes of all the committees ahead of time, and the motions are on the agenda, and they come prepared to ask questions. And, yes. and uh, we're, our meetings run an hour. Great. That's perfect. It's, an it's over exactly and as long as they hour, should be. You know? there's, there's been maybe two that went like an hour and 15 minutes, but it was like big subject, like, 
or strategic plan development or something that we were talking about. But other than that, this morning we had a meeting and it, it was over with before nine o'clock. We started mm -hmm. at eight, so less than an hour. Yeah. So, but it's because they're prepared. Right. So give me, give me a couple of like recent projects or projects that you've been most proud of that have occurred during your tenure in the past six years. Sure. It feels longer than that to me, Joe. Uh, I know. <laughs> I, I, I tend, with I you tend for to wear on people. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because we first got together when I first got here okay. with the uh, sports fest. Yes. That's where we first met. I, re I first remember meeting you over at Art Fusion on mm -hmm. Beach Street yes. for a planning session for Sports, sports Fest. fest. Yes. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which precluded... Was that the Sports Carnival? The Sports Carnival. Carnival. Yes. Got it. Yeah, yeah. that, that um, ran two years before yes. Go yeah. Forth yeah. Festival. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we... we um, really, the last six years has been a tremendous growth. We started out, our budget was... Um, we were bringing in about $270,000. The last three years, including COVID years, we've brought in 500, over $500,000, so we've tapped half a million dollars. Um, so in the past five years, we've been able to provide $1.5 million back to the school district wow. to promote um, programs and, and field trips and buy equipment and scholarships. Um, so I'm really proud that we've grown, grown that much and provided that much money. Um, but when you talk about some of the things, one of the things I think I'm most proud of, um, and there's a lot in the kids doing different things, but this summer uh, when we had the explosion mm -hmm. in Pottstown, um, Stephen Rodriguez, the superintendent, called me up and said, can you put together a fun drive? I'm getting people asking. This was the night it happened. Right. I'm getting requests yeah. to donate. Yeah, and people wanted to. They to wanted to do something immediately. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So we put together within less than 24 hours. We had the site up and running, and we're collecting donations. And to date, we've given the family that's house exploded. Uh, more than twenty-one thousand wow. dollars, and that's all through uh, donations from the community. And, and the other thing is, we had not only the Pottstown Teachers Association mm -hmm. donate funds, we had the Pittsburgh Teachers Association wow. donate. We had teacher associations from Wilkes-Barre. There are about four or five teachers associations from across the state donate. And we also had um, one school district that does casual dress Fridays and mm -hmm. put in two bucks to wear jeans. Right. They donated their whole um, collection right. to, the, to that fund. So, you know, that's really, you know, says a lot, you know, that the community pulls together. And we all know that. Yeah. We hear that Pottstown all the time. Pottstown can rally around a cause exactly. and, and for, um, for the foundation to be, uh, you know, one of the main points of where people could donate, like we knew that we could trust that the money was going to go to the right place. Like right. there was no question about like that the right thing was going to be done and it was going to eventually get into the right hands. So, um, you know, we did our own little fundraiser at, at Pottstown Go Forth and, yes. and um, you know, we felt really confident in, in giving the money to the foundation right. to be able to provide for those families. Yeah, absolutely. And there were, yeah. there were a few besides the Go Forth, there were some other nonprofits in the community that donated to us as well. So it was, it was really the whole community that got together yep. and, and helped donate. Um, the Chromebook campaign is another one. That was really amazing. Yeah, that was... Yeah. was um, I mean, horrible that our school district was in that position so let's, to let's, begin with. Let's, let's yeah. explain that first. I mean, the Chromebooks, how long have the Chromebooks been given out to the students? It's been... Well, that was in um, in 2020. Okay. So this will be the right. third year okay. of having them. Yeah, okay. so prior to that, it was the high school students had them? Only the high school students. Our right. plan from the district for technology was the first year to buy high school, second year to buy middle school, and third year the elementary. Mm -hmm. Well, their hand was forced because of COVID hitting. Sure. So, you know, they needed a thousand Chromebooks. 
And um, I looked at that amount and said $350,000. I've raised that before in a capital campaign right. to build a building, right. but never for you know something like this. And for the community to step up and, and the Pottstown Area Health and Wellness to give us $100,000 yeah. matching. Yeah. So every dollar that came in got matched. Yep. So that brought us up to $200,000 right there. Right. Um, so it was it was a good process. Talk about what you had to do in order to cooperate and collaborate with your political uh, liaisons in order to break that chip, break that uh, money free, right? There was some coordination that went on with, I believe, uh, Joe Cerisi's office and possibly Pat Toomey in order to break some of that money free. I, I think that was at what that actually, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think that had more to do with the students taking home the books and keeping them like over the summer okay. uh, or something like that. That was what that was. It wasn't really breaking free any of the money okay. for it. It was how, how the Chromebooks were going to be used right. once they once you got them. Right. But nonetheless, the foundation for Pottstown Education was instrumental in raising the additional funds that were needed right. in order to get the Chromebooks out to yeah. those other students who weren't scheduled that to have them. Get them right? Exactly. And and I remember the one day because the first amount we donated was two hundred thousand, um, and. We did that presentation at our board meeting with Amy Francis, the, the board president at the time, and then more money came yeah. in. <laughs> Are you? I didn't know that. <laughs> um, but we got a couple of checks in, and I was walking down the hall and saw Stephen Rodriguez, and I said, hey, we're going to be able to give you another you know, $100,000. He did an about face and went right into Maureen Jampo's office, who's a business yep. manager, and said, order them for the kindergartners now. We, we have funds so we can get the kindergartners. They, weren't, they had not anticipated doing that, right. but they were able to do that. So K through 12. They all have a Chromebook yeah. now. And so when uh, when did that all, that was all in the spring of 2020, right? right. So school shut down in mid-March. And then by what point were you able to put those Chromebooks in those kids' hands? It, they were in their hands for that next school year, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean, I know a, they had a big distribution. Yeah, it's a pretty there. significant undertaking and a lot of money in a short period of time. And, 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 and at a time when um, there was a lot of uncertainty about, you know, people losing their jobs. Yeah, exactly. or, you know, so for people to exactly. really open up their wallets and, and, and contribute was pretty significant. It's another example of Pottstown pulling together, yeah. you know, when there's a need. Really you know, generous. Really, so. really generous. Did you, so I'm on the board of the Pottstown Cluster of Religious Communities, and, and we saw a huge spike in giving during the pandemic. So yes. even though times were uncertain and people didn't know exactly what was going to be happening, we still saw hundreds of thousands of dollars coming in and not just not just the um, money but offers to volunteer and to work in order to help get the mission completed. Exactly. Yeah. Did you experience that with the foundation? We did. Um, as I said just recently, you know, we have three years of going over half a million. That was our first year right. during COVID. Yeah. Yeah. We hit $570,000, almost close to $600,000. I think we also had um, people, you know, people that weren't working, right? So they, they had time to, to volunteer. I know a lot of our watchers, um, you know, helped out with food distribution and stuff. Oh, yeah, we had but, you know, people that were making all that sweet, sweet pandemic money. Right? Right. Right. So they were getting that extra $600 or whatever it was. Um, and and yeah. felt uh, Yeah, and, and even though people didn't know where it was going to go or how things were going to end up, they, they felt they had a little bit of extra money in their pocket and were able to be generous with that. No, it's, it's it does. I, it, it goes back to what we always say is that the when called upon, the porch Tony step up to the oh, and, 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 and they did that a year ago too with our oh, construction yeah, yeah, yeah. room floor. And let me bring you up, David, on that. Um, we needed eight thousand ten dollars. We raised it's eleven very specific thousand. Amount. It is <laughs> eight thousand and ten dollars and ten. That was the cost of the supplies needed to fix the floor. 
the person who was going to do it was donating the label. Right. And help having the kids in the construction program work with him and learn how to do it. Well, he since then has left his business and went with somebody else. So Terry Baller, who is the director of CTE now, uh, reached out to another firm and they're willing to do it at that price and do the same thing, donate their labor oh, very nice. and, and have work the, kids with the kids learn. Yeah. So that project, we just sent the check to them so that they could order the supplies and that work is supposed to be done coming coming soon. Great. And what's so special about that floor? It's a, a, a flaking that they're going to put onto it, but it's right now it's just cement. Okay. And the cement's cracking and it just needs totally replacement. So they'll fix the cracks and they'll, they'll work with it, clean it up, and then put this flaking down. So it it's like a skid-resistant floor. Gotcha. Flooring. Okay. And it'll seal it up. Right. Yes. It's an epoxy-based mm -hmm. product. Okay. It's going to dress it up, make it look better, and it's also going to seal the floor. Yeah. So and be safer if it's got the non-skid. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's a total upgrade yeah. to the top that's great. And I would say that Porchtonians were like instrumental in crossing. Did, yes, yes. That's definitely, because I remember emailing you yeah. on a Thursday saying we're this amount short. And it was like, say, $750.21. And um, we had, you know, somebody come in and donate the 721 or whatever it was. And a couple of people said, well, I'll do the 21 cents, you know, jokingly. But they donated, and we went over. We went over $11,000. So there's 3000 more that's sitting in the CTE fund for another project. Right. Right. So it's... I know. It's great. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Oh, yes. that. yeah. Three or four thousand, yeah. yeah. What's that? Yeah, it's really close yeah. to four thousand. Yeah. Close to four thousand. Right. So you're a Portuguese box. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's like a third of the money. Right? Right. Exactly. It is. Just from our show. All right. Right. I'm kind of I know. Yeah. Well, not only that, but they've also supported our events and come to our our. Um, Gala. Thank you. Gala. Gala Gala, which I don't usually say. It's usually a right. special event we call right. it. Where are you yes. from? Where am I from? I'm from north of Pittsburgh. Yeah, you can and tell by, by the way the way that he just I said that do. the floor needs replaced. <laughs> it's a very, very user thing right there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yep. right up. Yep. So, so listen, and yes. I think I know where you're going to go, but I'm going to get a lot of stuff from the executive director or from the executive producer. He's also a board member. Yes, she is. She can bring a lot of stuff on what she does. She must not be watching because she knows where he is. Explain to everybody the early college program. Oh, yeah. I, I don't. I never used the right window. So no, it's early dual, college program. No, I thought it was dual enrollment. It, no? it, it is a dual enrollment. Dual enrollment's a, a term used by the colleges. Okay. So um, it is a dual enrollment program. We call it, it it's technically the Pottstown Promise Early College Program. Okay. And Pottstown what, Promise Early College or, Program. Or, like ECP, Early College okay. Program. We um, select with the high school up to this year we did 21 students that oh, were wow. sophomores okay. going to be juniors uh, who can enroll in classes at Montgomery County Community College and take up to 30 credits over the two years. Right. So their junior and senior year um, of high school, they're also taking college courses. Um, we pay not only for the tuition, we pay for the textbooks as well. So there's really no cost to the to the students and take unless they take a specialty class right. and there's a lot of supplies like an art class or culinary arts. Yeah. Um, so we, we pay for that. And um, it, I talked to Anthony, um, who was on the show with me yeah. last year. He's going to Temple right now, and I just was emailing him. He told me all three of his credits were transferred to That's Temple. That's great. So, so he's like, how much does that save him, you know, going into to college? And he got 30 credits. It's about $40,000. Yeah. Oh, my that's son, amazing. Andrew, was a recipient was of this program because mm -hmm. it's the 
It's basically however many slots you can afford to pay for. It's those top students from the school district that apply for the program. Right. Because remember, not all kids apply. It's the top ones yeah. that do. So the year that Andrew did it, there were 16 slots available. Mm -hmm. And he went, he also went to Temple where he got an academic scholarship to Temple. Mm -hmm. And um, he's graduated a year early. He had to take two classes over the summertime, right. and a couple of like really like easy like GRE classes, okay. uh, which he's taking this semester. But he's now on track to graduate a full year early from college wow. because he was enrolled in the right. early college right. program. Right. So is he going to graduate in spring? Yeah, him and Harrison had They're graduated good at the same time. college the same yeah. year, even though Harrison was a year right. ahead of him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they they it, it's a great program. It saves kids money. Sure. The other thing that we found out that it does is because a kid has a college transcript, they don't have to take the SATs because they can submit their college oh, level courses for a transfer rather than admission as a new student. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's really great because the majority of our are taking an SAT, but also, you know, some kids just are not good, test, not good, test not good standardized test takers. And so that really alleviates a lot of um, pressure. That's fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. That's really, really great. And also may, um, make college available to some kids that might not otherwise have thought that they would be able to go to college. Exactly. And right? Or that maybe it's not for them, or they're, or, or they're the first one in their family to, to even have the opportunity to, to exactly, go to school. To go to school. Yeah. And, and that's pretty much why it was um, founded, mm -hmm. was because they did a study and the amount or number of Pottstown residents who had a college degree was low mm -hmm. and compared it to Montgomery County, the whole county. Right. So this was one way to entice the kids that they could mm -hmm. they could go. And um, the other interesting fact, and I like to dig into things because outcomes are what donors like to hear. Sure. But um, when I started looking at it, we asked all the graduates when, where they're going and what their major mm -hmm. is. But I go back and I look at what the current tuition is at the college they decide to go to. And I take that times the number of credits they've right. taken. Right. The one year, the students saved over $380,000. That's what they would have paid collectively to their if college. If they had gotten community. those credits at the college that exactly. they ended up at. Exactly. Right. Yes. Wow. That's so significant. It is. Really and that's only, that's only tuition. That doesn't right. count the year of room and board they're right. saving, and it doesn't yeah. count their textbooks. Right. So there's a couple of things. There's a point that I want you to make, and I know that you can make it, and I'm going to lead you right into it. And I know you're a smart fellow. You're going to follow my lead. How many surrounding school districts have a program exactly like the one that you just described? So O&J, Spring Ford, all these high power, Fox Grove, Daniel Boone, yeah. Kirk Valley, yeah. Upper yeah. Kirk. How many surrounding school districts have a program like you just described? It's a round number. Yeah, it's zero. 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 It's a round all the way around. Pop, zero. Pottstown is the only district, it's not the only district that has dual enrollment. It's the only one that the students have an opportunity to have tuition paid for. Right. So um, right. it's unique. In fact, I don't know of any in the state that has that. Mm -hmm. So, so I know we get a couple of questions from the floor. Yeah. Uh, the first one is from Jitsi Chris. And she's there we go. Who's asking me? Can Joe do a two two Tuesday to raise money? She's going to pay to see that. I don't know what that means. A two I think two it means two that Joe two. puts on a two two, and people will pay. Oh. Like he'll set a he'll set Got a fundraising two level, two. and then if people raise money up to that level, then Joe has to appear, maybe on Portuguese Pottstown in a two two. In a two two. All right. I'd pay to see that too, Jason Chris. It probably would have. Look, the only time I've ever seen him 
Dolly Tuggle. Because like, I'm doing a mirror picture. Right. 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 And you're like, all right. How can I get? How can I match whatever money is raised so that I don't have to wear a tutu? <laughs> right? No, I just I don't think it would be a tutu. It'd have to be like an eight eight. <laughs> so, and I said Good that before recovery. she put that Good on, recovery. right? She yes. put that in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's and then Tamara Charles from Pottstown Tamara. Community Action. If folks don't know, go check it out. Pottstown Community Action. Search it on Facebook or Google, and you'll find about all the good things that Pottstown Community Action is doing. Tamara Charles is the president of Pottstown Community Action. She's also asking. Is the foundation's involvement in the early college program just the payment, or do you have to have more involvement with students doing dual enrollment? Do you have more involvement? Yeah. Do you have so, more involvement? Do, is there like any sort of oversight? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, probably more than my board wants me to. Okay. Yes. Um, my role, since I was in, in, interviewed and hired and reviewed, is to not do programs. My role is to raise funds mm -hmm. for programs, right. but because we invest so much of our donors' money into this program, yes, I have to oversee. You want to make sure that, it, it's, that everything is running the way it should be running. And, and they have to yeah. be a minimum grade. They have to have a 3.0. Mm -hmm. um, if they receive a D or an F, they have to pay the tuition back to the foundation. Right. So for that class. For that class. Right. Yeah, right. for that class. Um, so, you know, there's control of that, and that's happened. Um, especially during COVID, because I think it was very difficult of course. for the students yeah. to do the online learning that they weren't used to. Right. So we're watching over that. I'm one of the people that selects the, the candidates, mm -hmm. and there is an application process. Um, they have to do an essay on why they would be a good candidate, talk about what they do activity-wise. So we review all of that right. and put all that together. And then, of course, there's all the audits and, and checks that have to be written and all the financial background with it so yes definitely um, right. involved in and i know pretty much all of the students um we for the first time through the college did some workshops with them mm -hmm. like how to study um I think I could have used that workshop yeah, when I was it, in college. Um, I learned a lot from sure. that. <laughs> but we had you know, had them together. Of course, I was there as a liaison. Mm -hmm. um, Kelly Leibold was my liaison at the school district. And then some of the college people were there. So I, I got to give a shout out to Kelly. She's a, often a contributor to the show. She sends me links and emails with different flyers and different news items and updates for the school district and different things that are going on. I regularly get stuff from Kelly who um, we add to the news and updates section yep. of the show. So yeah, she's, she's great. She's a porch Tony and then she's a, she's a contributor. Yep. Um, help two of my sons out tremendously um, when they were at middle school and she was the guidance counselor yeah. at the middle school. Yeah. So big shout nice. out to Kelly Leibold. Yeah. You know, another contributor too that, that I kind of want to mention too is Beth Yoder mm -hmm. from the high school mm -hmm. in the arts. Yep. Um, I see Beth on here quite often, yep. but Beth and all the art teachers uh, are recipients of grants that were just awarded this morning. Oh, nice. Um, every year we do a grant for all seven art teachers um, Six hundred dollars mm -hmm. each, and they pick a project. They have to go through the funding process. But also, we had um, approved this morning was library funds. Oh. So the library. So our board approved uh, seventy-two hundred dollars to the district just today uh, nice. to cover library and art. Could you repeat those numbers for us, please? What, what you just said. Could you repeat that? I was a little distracted. <laughs> Yes, we did. And the board approved seventy-two hundred dollars for two grants. One is five hundred dollars for each library, and one is six hundred dollars for each art department. Okay. And they're the reason like, there's a like hundred throwing money yeah, around yeah, the foundation. Yeah. Well, as long as the money keeps coming, coming in, in we throw can it throw it back out. Right. But um, the reason. It, it, 
and we get asked this why we give more to the art department they do a project for us and they do they're starting it right now um the elementary school we have a contest and they design our thank you cards oh nice well, the That's middle right. school is the yeah. does the holiday card and and it is it is noticed card. because i do notice the cards they um, are they're so, great yeah and we just did it last year for the first time and the students that our recipients get a $50 okay. gift card. Thank you. So, no, I'm good, thanks. So, you know, that's going on now. Mm -hmm. We're, in fact, Monday is the deadline for the elementary mm -hmm. artwork, and we've received some of them so far. So we'll have new cards coming probably in November. Great. Love those little, yep. you know, cards with the artwork. They're, they're great. We've got a lot yeah. of, of um, positive feedback from that. Yeah, yeah, good. So, and, and, you know, we're about, we're about halfway uh, yeah. through the show. I was show. just going to say, we should probably talk about what's coming up next week. Yeah, and uh, that's a request from the floor as well. Gypsy Chris wants to say that. She also wants to say that those round numbers are easy for you to remember. Exactly, they, they are. Yeah. As a uh, <laughs> bookkeeper, accountant, you know, she should know. <laughs> so... I think, I think, though, here's what I want to do, because you hit us with a lot of important facts, and here, us people at PortuCast aren't always good with numbers and everything. I got that a lot of different numbers. PortuCast math. But you, leading into the event that's coming up this weekend. Yes. You have some trivia for the people that are watching right now. I do. So what, explain the trivia and what they can win by answering the question. And then what I've done is I have put your email address up on the screen. So I'm going to let you coordinate this. Okay. So Joe's going to no, ask two questions of the people that are watching live. You need to email your answers to Joe Rusevich at PottstownK12.org. And, just and look pay up. attention, because that's a little bit of an alphabet. Yeah, just it look, is, right? look, look on the screen. I'll also put it on the ticker so that you can see it a little bit larger. Joe's going to ask two questions. You're going to answer them. And you'll get what? Well, what we're going to do is the first person that answers correctly We'll get two tickets to our event on October 8th, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, actually, it, 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 the one question, and then the second question, the first one to correctly answer another set of tickets to that event. All right. And before I ask the questions, let me explain the event so they know what they're, they're going to win. We're doing a night at the races on Saturday, October 8th at the Carousel of Pottstown. Mm -hmm. It's a fundraiser. Tickets are $25 a piece, or you can buy a table of eight for 160 so you're saving five bucks a person. Mm -hmm. That, though, has to be purchased in one, right. one, in one transaction. And you can get onto our website, look under donate, and then donor designation will have tickets there. So right. you can uh, make payment for that. But what it is, it's $25 and it includes um, hors d'oeuvres made by the culinary arts students. So you know they're going to be good. At the high school. Yeah. We are going to have 10 races. So there's animals around the carousel. Six of them will have numbers on them. Okay. There will be six buckets with the corresponding numbers. People can buy a ticket to bet on the race, mm -hmm. and it's $5 a ticket. You put your ticket in the bucket of the animal you think is going to win. Right. So well, this race, I want to bet on the hippocampus. Exactly. Whatever number one it is. Or whatever. Number one. Right. So everybody that bets on that one, their ticket will be in that bucket. We'll pull one ticket out of the winning bucket, and they win whatever amount right. is in that bucket. So how are the horses going to race? They're going to go round and round. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they get to a certain point, like when it... Or, or, yeah, what, what's going to happen is we have somebody that's going to be blindfolded, mm -hmm. so they don't see where the horses yeah. are. The, the controller there at, at the carousel will start it. This person will tell them to stop, and once it's stopped, whatever animal crosses the finish line Got it. gets the win. 
Right. So, so if it's, it would be hard for me to imagine that anybody hasn't been to the Carousel of Pops Town yet. But if you haven't, this is a great chance to go to the Carousel and see it and, and to go to the fundraiser. Um, it is really just it's such a beautiful uh, carousel it and, and it's just that the animals are beautiful and it's really uh, well maintained and it's um it's a treasure that we have it was a long it was uh, a long time coming uh, yes and it was it's nice i remember to, when i first got here they were talking about it yeah, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, so yeah. nice to uh, years to right right but um, i'm gonna put a link up i'm gonna put links up to joe rusevich's email address so that you can email you can copy him and paste yeah yeah you can copy and paste from the comments his email address is flashing up on the screen in two different ways. I put a link to the event from the website, and I also put in a link to the Pottstown Carousel in the comments, so people can go back after the show and find links to all of these things that we just talked about. So hit with your... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give one trivia question now, and I'm going to talk about one other thing that I know has you baffled, and that is what is a wine pool? Yes. So You know, I don't think I've ever understood this, even though I've actually sponsored several wine pools, and I don't even know what the hell it is. Well, well, I will explain, but let me give you the trivia question first. The first question, and both of these I have talked about tonight. So right. if you were paying attention, yeah. so we will get to Chris out because we know she's not listening to me. <laughs> but the first question is, how much money has the foundation donated to the school district in the past five years? Yeah, so this is a cumulative total cumulative over the last total. five years. We talked about this. Yep. Um, uh, I mentioned yeah. it early on. So the wine pool. We have right now 30 bottles of wine, and they will be in a bag, so you cannot see what wine is there. And they range from a $15 bottle of wine to a $50 bottle Mm -hmm. of wine. So for $25, you get the pool of number, and that number corresponds with a bottle of wine. You get that wine. Right. So it's a donation to Mm -hmm. the foundation. Plus, you have a bottle of wine to enjoy. Right. And that's simple as that. Okay. So, but that's. that's I like wine. Happen. Yes. <laughs> you said past five years, right? Yeah. Yes, past How five years. How much money has the foundation for Pottstown education given to the Pottstown school district over the past five years? Five years. I'm going to put that question up onto the screen so the viewer can see it. Do not answer the question in the chat. You are emailing your answers to Joe Research. That way, he will get a time stamp response and he's going to be the first correct, correct answer. Yes. And the second question is I talked about what our board just did this morning, and they donated over $7,000 to the district for two departments. What are they? Mm-hmm. It's the second mm-hmm. question. Mm-hmm. I know. I already forgot. I know one, but I don't know the other. I know. So, and if you're interested in getting tickets, we're still having them. We're, we've extended it to Monday, so you can let us know Monday. But we have to let, we have to let Steve Irick know, who's a teacher for culinary arts. Right. The number so that sure. there's enough so it's, food uh, for everybody. Saturday, October 8th, and it starts at the okay, doors open at 6. Doors open at we're 6. helping the races start at 6 30. All right, we're doing 10 races, right? And we're also asking you to bring cash. Okay, the reason for that is we'll have the cash to hand the winners. So, um, let's get ready. Let's get real. The reason for that is because the IRS is getting ready to hire 83,000 new agents. So, and also, if you win a race but you want to donate your money back to the foundation, that would be okay. Too. Oh, that would be wonderful. Right? It's a novel idea. Or, yeah, well, you know, it's like one in a 50 50. Right. You, you always like, give a little bit of money get, back, yeah, right? Like you got to give some of right. it back. All right, so just right. to clarify, the second question was which two departments 
did the foundation give over seven thousand dollars? Just this morning. Just this yes. morning. It's just this morning. Ink was still wet on those bills. That's right. Yes. Okay. Right. Right. So I'm going to put that question up on the screen. Fantastic. Remember, do not answer the questions in the chat. So, send your email to Jerry Savage at Pottstown12k.org. Is the uh, fundraiser targeting anything specific, or it's a jet general fund? It's um, co- in, con- uh, it's in co- conjunction with the amazing raise, In conjunction, thank you. I couldn't think of that word. Right? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, we've never done a uh, fall fundraiser and we yeah. thought we would do something yeah. in conjunction so um all the funds unless they're specified during amazing rays go to our general operations are restricted so it helps pay our bills mm-hmm. uh keeps me employed right. keeps Lori employed it pays our insurance gotta keep this guy employed because right. who else would hire him seriously yeah, exactly. right. 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 but it also goes under restricted for programs that we may not have buckets for right if some teacher comes up with some idea and that doesn't fall into STEM or library arts, then we can take right. the money from those right. funds. Got it. Right. So uh, the Amazing Race, for those of you that don't know, is a program um, through uh, Tri County Community Network, who we've talked about a lot on the show, um, and the funds that are raised and submitted um, through the Amazing Race program are eligible for some matching money and from some, some special um, other uh, perks, if you will. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, and there's over 50 organizations that are involved in it. And it starts on Saturday. It starts on October Saturday. 1st. I'll be talking about that when we talk about news and yes. updates. Uh, because we are participating as sure. well. So, yeah, I just put yeah. a link to the Amazing Rays up in the chat. You can learn more about clicking on that link. You can Great. find out the different organizations that are participating in it, how it works, and how your money is multiplied by giving during the course of the Amazing Rays. Great. Joe, give them one more hit on the uh, date and time, the date and time for the upcoming night of the races. The night of the races at Potsdam Carousel is on Saturday, October 8th. Doors open at 6. You can purchase tickets online up until Monday afternoon. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. All right. I, I am going to cut and paste a link to Night of the Races and put that in the chat comments. I'm trying to help people out here. Yeah, but make at the end it of easy. The day, Click. We're saying the words that you can put into the browser search, right? At the races. Pottstown Foundation for Pottstown Education. Right. Pottstown yeah. Carousel. Yeah. All of that stuff, just put you those words that we're saying say. into your Google search yeah. or into your Facebook search, and a lot of information is going to come up. Yeah. Remember, this show is Pottstown centric. So we're not going to be talking about the Santa Clara, California night at the races. <laughs> we're talking about the Pottstown <laughs> night. We're not at even the talking races. about the fiber night at the races. No. No. It's not an OJ Robinson no, School not. District. No, it's Pottstown School okay. District. All right, want me to fire up some news? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're All right. ready. Uh, in, in no particular order, folks, uh, and I'm just kind of focused on the next couple of weeks. Um, Veterans Resource Fair, Montgomery County Veterans Resource Fair, October 4th from 10 to 2 at the Montgomery County Human Services Center. Matt, did I see this on your page? I think I saw this on I Am Um So this is for veterans that need um, assistance in voter services, senior services. Uh, There's going to be a pathometry, um, all sorts of different resources for veterans, and plus flu shots. So don't forget to get your flu shot, folks. Hi, Brooke Martin. Brooke Martin just walked in. She just rolled rolled in. Because I need to talk to her about some real estate-related issues. Uh, Cheese Toberfest is on Saturday, October 22nd. Who doesn't love cheese? I love cheese. I might have a problem. You might have a problem. They say that, they say that cheese, this is this is a fact. Yes. When you eat cheese. Uh, it makes your brain happy. Yeah, it's the same release of endorphins and, and chemicals that heroin gives you. <laughs> Without the dope set. Sorry, I might get stoppered up a little bit, but yeah. Um, so Cheese Soberfest is at Memorial Park on October uh, 22nd from 10 to 3. It is sponsored by the Tri-County Echo Health Center. They are still looking for vendors. Um, they're, I think they're all full with 
restaurants, but um, they're looking for arts and crafts vendors and, and community vendors. Um, so if you uh, are an arts or crafts person, or if you have a community group and want to set up, contact Brian Harps at the um, Tri County Active Adult Center, formerly known as the Senior Center. Um, there is a cruise, High Street Cruise, this weekend, Saturday, October 1st, from 4 to 9. So this is not a card show, it's a cruise night. Old school cruise. Old school cruise. And then there's also, where's that thing that Murph said? Uh, something about cars, taking pictures. So that's all part of that. So what they do that's is all they, part have, of that. Yeah. they have a guy who is like an expert car photographer. professional car photographer. Yes. And what you do is you head on over to Red Horse Motor yes. Club. That's at the corner of Hot Hanover Street and Third. Third, where Hanover Ludwig Third, Motors was formerly. Where Ludwig Motors used to be. Right. Cross from St. Anne's. Cross from. Yeah. Now you pull in there, and this photographer is going to be there. Drive through the photo booth. He'll take a picture of your car. And I guess there's a donation that you can make or something uh, like that. Let's see. And I believe it's a fundraiser or something. Yes. Way, shape, um, or form. Portion of the proceeds will benefit the Veterans Island Project. Right. Um, because but I don't see what the cost is, but if you love your car, you don't just care what the cost is. There. And if it's too much for you, oh, it's $35. Then $35. Bucks. Yep. But you get high quality, yes. professional grade yep. photos of your car. Now, yep. if you want to pose with your family or your wife or Make your Christmas card picture. Uh, has a bikini that she wants to die on. your car. Do a little, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This guy will take a picture yeah. of your car. Jerry Kiefer and, uh, yeah. of Kiefer Fine Art. Premier custom automotive photograph. One of the premier custom automotive photographic artists in the world. So there you go. They've been doing credit, but I got to give this guy's credit. They've doing been, a lot they've of stuff. They've been bringing in yeah. some, like, world class yeah. entertainment. Those yeah. two cars that they yes. uh, unveil at the yeah. VW show. Yeah. It was the first time those cars were seen in the world here in Pottstown. Here in Pottstown. Just saying. Uh, Cosmic Arts, we're going to go one day, Matt. I'm Sunday, going we're going to go Cosmic Friday, Park. September 30th. Uh, Wonderland Shindig. Sean looks tricky, I'm telling you. I'm uh, so that's at Cosmic Arts, which is 3, um, 310 East High Street. Uh, I'm going to relive my college country. years yeah. that day. I'm gonna, and yeah. everybody go down goes a little to college. Go down a little the, rabbit hole. I'm going to go down a little rabbit hole. Right. right. Yeah. Um, Dragon Boat. We're having the Dragon Boat folks on the show, aren't we? we coming are. up? And I don't remember the date, but they're going to be coming on. Edith Swinton and, yeah. uh, and Bobby. Bobby yes. are coming in to talk about Dragon awesome. Boat. Awesome. Another Two people. I love both of them. World class event. That happens yeah. here in Pottstown. Remember, I talked Jack about the, the, the at the Pottstown Athletic Club. Mm -hmm. They have the boat, the, the pool that they train in. Right. It's the only rowing training pool, indoor training pool on the East Coast. Right. Here right in here in Pottstown at the old armory. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> You're getting better at this I've every day. I've been here for 25 years is, this week. Yes, congratulations. 25, 25 years this week. I think you can now stuff. claim OG status. Mm, I'm married 25 OG. years. I definitely married into an OG family. Yeah. But, but I'm not. Yeah, but listen, I'm OG, but I don't, I, there's one thing that you have that I do not have. That's a Pottstown tattoo. Pottstown tattoo. I yeah. Think. Does that give me that? Yeah, does that, that give, gives I can, you some I can rest. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, if you want, we can go into the alley after the show and have a little scrap. Yeah. And then, and then you'll I'll be fully yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. You'll yeah. rip my weave off. <laughs> yeah. right. All right. Uh, so the Dragon Boat team is having a fundraiser on October 27th. I think they're, uh, Enid and Bobby are going to be on the show after the fundraiser, but their fundraiser is October 27th at JJ Radigan's uh, from 6 to 9. So check that out. Um, Hobart's Run is having their run by the river. November 13th, um, 5K for those kinds of people that, you know, run. Um, but this is their major fundraiser for the um, programs and initiatives and grants and things that they uh, that they do throughout the year. So um, if you are a runner and you're interested in that, go uh, to the Hobart's Run website and check that out. Uh, I, I, oh, there's oh, one thing oh, I do want to notice, take note about Hobart's yeah. Run. Yes. I just listed another property over on Queen Street, 768 yeah. Queen Street, fully rehabbed property, top to bottom. 
they kept as much of the historical architecture mm -hmm. as they possibly could. Right. This one was a little more hard to do because it was a little bit rough. Right. But a lot of the original woodwork is there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's a uh, two bedroom, yeah. two bath, off street parking, backyard, $209,000. And there's a $5,000 grant yep. from Hobart's Run. If you're moving from rental, to home ownership, okay. you get five thousand nice. dollars to purchase that property. Seven sixty eight Queen Street. You can Google it yep. or go to Walker dot com. And is there, and you can there's see the an open house coming up for that? There's an open house this Sunday yeah. from one to three. Great. Even if you're not interested in purchasing the property, stop by the open house for a couple of minutes just to check out the work the Find Solutions sure. property is doing. They're doing great work they here are. in this town. I think we're somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe. 40 properties. Really? Wow. We've been doing this now for six years. Wow. That's Check a lot out. of properties. The yeah. Arts Run shop. I see you've got uh, 45 Chestnut Street, too. 45 Chestnut yeah. Street. That's a beaut. We're having an open house on Saturday and Sunday. That's a beaut with a nice green yard. Art, but very, very well maintained. And a lot people. updated. There's a new bathroom, and there looks like there's new flooring. New it's kitchen. very modern looking, very yeah. bright, and it's got a really nice enclosed backyard. With a patio yeah. and a covered porch. Yeah. And a detached garage. And you're kind of in the no-hano, so just saying. Well, listen, how many people can say that they have a backyard with mm -hmm. a patio and a covered porch and a detached garage in the middle of town? Yeah. Well, I can, but yeah. It's, yeah. it's not the most. <laughs> no, it's not common. Easy just to get a garage, right. it's just not very common. Hey, Ray, um, Marty, what's up? Edgewood Eddie's um, Clean Up and Art Fair, October 22nd. October 22nd is going to be a busy day, folks. I hope you're all going to be in town because there's a lot going on. Um, so that's from 10 to 3 at Edgewood. Uh, tomorrow night at Rivet is fun to Funk. If you're looking for something to do tomorrow night, go see Bunch to Funk at Rivet. Super fun band in Rivet, my favorite place in town. Uh, what is this? This is one of yours. Sunny High Farm, October 1st. That's this weekend. Um, fundraiser at the farm. All proceeds donated farm aid to support less fortunate farmers and their families. This is down in the five, folks. There's live bands. There's a tractor. Wow. It's the farm fundraiser, um, seventh annual fundraiser at the farm. No, it's like a sunny farm high farm. It's, it's a, a farm, farm aid. aid. It's like a local farm and, aid. And listen, cool. there's it's like one fee gets you in. Yeah. There's bands. There's food. There's Forty dollars per person. A variety of great food, barbecue, beer, soda, donation bar. Uh, I guess for for other drinks and uh, live music. For forty bucks. Sounds fun. I mean, if you're into that. Sunny kind of High thing, Farm, sixteen fifty-five South Hanover. That's in the a big farm. When you're heading down South High Street or South uh, Hanover Street, yeah. and you're going, you start going down the hill to where the country tavern used to be. It used to be the Philadelphia. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That big farm that okay. sits off to the right hand side mm -hmm. of the road there. I think that's Hawkeye Road that okay. comes out of there. That's the Got bar, it. right below the uh, Wawa on Route 100 right. in South Yeah, I know where it is. You yeah. come up the crest of the hill and then you start to go down. That's yeah. the high fan. So if you're looking to venture into the five, folks. Hey, there you we're go. doing some news for the fibers. Right. We love our fiber friends. Yeah. Uh, Volunteer Day Memorial Park, uh, Saturday, October 15th from 8.30 to 12. We love Memorial Park uh, and we love Parks and Recreation. They've been very good to us at uh, Pass and Go Forth. So they are looking for um, just some uh, volunteer, volunteer work. Empower Your Park Volunteer Series. Check that uh, out. Tamira Charles is saying that Edgewood Cemetery, they're doing oh, raised I garden saw beds. Those as I've been driving by. Listen, here's what I would say, and I'm not going to get too political, but a little bit. Make sure that you're helping out Edgewood Cemetery. It's an abandoned cemetery. Right. If the community doesn't take care of that cemetery, it's going to look like it's going to. It's a it's very disrespectful crap. to the deceased, and also it's, it's a to big town. It's, and it's a big, um, very visible space and a very well, busy crossroads. Pine right? Street Bridge back up. That's a gateway yes. to Pottstown. It's yeah. one of the so first things people will see when they come into important town. Important to keep it not not just because it's the right thing to do, but because also you know it looks better when it's cleaned up. Right. The next thing I'm going to say is an opinion 
Green of Matt Green of Glocker Real Estate, and Matt Green of Glocker Real Estate only. Okay. We gotta really be careful about planting more vegetation in a cemetery that doesn't have money to take care of vegetation. That's why I'm encouraging people to get involved. Gotcha. We plant all these trees, we put these they need, gardens. Yeah, they need to be tended to. There's no money. I mean, right. there's no money there. Right. There's no organization that's taking care of that stuff. Right. Well, so if you want to plant right. trees, yeah. or if you want to take plant a garden, you need to be prepared to take care of it. I mean, by you, the organization exactly. that decides to plant trees right. or put more vegetation uh, right. because yeah. the cemetery yeah. doesn't have money to pay for that stuff. And we all know just, from living in town how much trees need maintenance. Just be careful. Yes. Just That's my warning. Just be careful right. about what you're planning to do over at Edgewood. That's the only yeah. thing I'm saying. All right. Hansan High, also Saturday, October 22nd, 8th Annual Hansan High, uh, family friendly event with safe trick or treating, a kids' art show, face painting, crafts, and more. That's uh, hosted by Massa Community Arts, and uh, which is a committee of Mosaic. So that is the uh, 22nd as well. Our friends at the Rotary are having their annual pancake breakfast November 12th from 8 to 11 at the Tri County Active Adult Center. $8 each. I can eat a lot of pancakes for $8. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Halloween parade, four o'clock on October twenty second, here on High Street, uh, presented by the Rotary Club and Parks and Recreation. So that's High and Adams to probably the, um, around the Elks Club, I would imagine, or New York. So uh, yeah, it goes down. It usually goes down across the bridge over in because they they can pull into the parking lot they, yeah. there at the gas station yeah. at, at Total Round, which is no longer a gas station. Did you know that? Yeah, I did There's see no that. There's no gas pumps there anymore. Apparently, they were having a problem with the tanks that uh, they were getting would, contaminated would, with water. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so they are still, uh, registration is still open if you have a float that you want to put in that uh, parade. The Art Bus at the Alley, Saturday, October 8th, 2.30 to 5.30. Bring the family and enjoy a delicious cocktail while the kids decorate their own custom fall craft. Shove your kids off to the activities, have a beverage, win-win. The YWCA has a foster grandparent program. This is really nice. Am I old enough to be a foster grandparent? You better say no. I don't think you are. Thank you. Because your son's 21. Uh, no, I'm not old enough yet. Montgomery County adults, 55 years and older. I have one year yet. Okay. 55 years and older. Do me. Income requirements will provide one-on-one -on -one services to children with exceptional and special needs and or from disadvantaged backgrounds. Oh, that's really nice. Um, then they, the, the foster grandparents get a small non taxable stipend um, to offset the cost of volunteering. They get transportation if they need it. Um, and there's uh, insurance available. Uh, it sounds like a really nice program. You know, Matt really Moyer nice. was on the show a couple of times and while we were away on vacation. And there are multiple ways that older adults here in mm -hmm. Pottstown can get involved and also save money on their taxes. Right. They'll either get paid a stipend yes. or they'll literally get a tax break on their property on their tax taxes for uh, participating like in these programs. Mentoring or, or doing like tutoring, uh, reading and programs. Matt, Matt even said that if you don't want to interact with the kids, there's administrative functions oh. that you can get involved in right. and still earn these benefits. So right. I see a lot of people on social media land complaining about their school district taxes. Mm -hmm. If you're a senior, there's at least five or six different ways in Pottstown that you can get involved, do a little bit of work. Right, and lower and, your taxes. And lower your taxes. And do a good thing. Yeah. Do a nice thing. All right. Ooh, man, we got a big set. Uh, unclaimed property and SEPTA senior key card sign up. I think I got this from uh, Joe Cerisi's page. Uh, if you would like to check uh, your name and your family for unclaimed property, you can contact um, Joe Cerisi, rep Cerisi at pahouse.net. Um, but that is Tuesday, October 4th at the Pottstown Regional Public Library uh, from 1 to 3. So I did that over the summertime, mm -hmm. and uh, it turned out that I had about $100 or so that was left over from your various accounts uh, that I had hanging out. And I went through the paperwork. I filled the forms out with Andrew Green, my mm -hmm. son, who was interning for Joe Cerisi. It couldn't have been easier to do. Oh, the last time, they listed the, uh, last time they listed the unclaimed property in the paper, 
I saw like five people that I knew. I was texting everyone. I'm like, hey, look, hey, you're going to pick you got someone play property. Yep. But I yeah. filled the paperwork out with Andrew. Mm -hmm. if, if you're confused about what to do, contact you in Cerisi's office directly and they'll help. help you out. Yeah. That's what I did. I went down there at lunchtime um, and Andrew and their staff uh, helped me fill out the paperwork. And in a matter of a couple of weeks, and I got, got a check in the mail. You got your under bone. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, we without violence, the YWCA. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's too much for me to talk about. Uh, they are total. also coming onto the show to talk oh, about. Oh, in a couple of weeks. So, uh, we without violence is October 17th through the 22nd, and they have a block party event also on October 22nd. So much going on that day. Um, you can go to Cheese Fest. You can go over here to the block party. Then you can come out here and watch the parade. Lots of stuff happening on October 22nd. Oh, so that stuff yeah. that you just mentioned is free. free. Cheese Toberfest isn't, but you get cheese for your brain health. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we'll talk to the folks from YWCA. Are they coming on before the They're coming on the 13th. Okay, so, so it'll be right be before. So right, we'll, talk, right. we'll talk some more about yep. that. Yep. Um, this Saturday, free electronics recycling event at free. Western Montgomery Career and Technology Center in Warriorsburg, October 1st, Saturday from 9 to 11. They are not accepting TVs or monitors, but they'll take old computers, hard drives, um, other electronics, mm. your old clock radio from your I childhood. Uh, I took an old floor. I have one of those like floor model air conditions. Mm -hmm. They're not taking anything with Freon. No monitors okay. and nothing with Freon. Okay. So that's like, I think that's a really, yeah, that might be a hazardous waste today. Yeah, as opposed to electronics. The older Freon so. stuff. Yeah. I don't think that my air conditioner had Freon. I think it was modern enough that it didn't have Freon. I had some other kind of gas. Right. I did take it to one of those. Some other kind of gas. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Good. Better than sticking it in the trash. Yeah. Uh, Cyber Ballroom, uh, Sunday Swing Outs. So I guess they're having swing dancing. This is Sunday, October 2nd. It's this weekend. There's a free lesson at 3, and then you can dance from 4 to 7. Swing dance at the famous Sunny Brook Ballroom. That sounds so, pretty cool. I can't dance for shit, but I like to watch people dancing. Well, you can take lessons. There, there's folks that will give you a little lesson. I got some two left feet over here. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. listen, I also want to throw this out there. Uh, our old friend Bobby Flay yeah. was saying that uh, he was asking about what was going on at Sunny Brook. Yeah. Bobby was upset because it's not open to the public, it's an event facility now. But as we've been hearing over the past couple of weeks, there's all kinds of events that the public can go to at Sunnybrook. Right, so Soul Jules is there. Comedy shows. Yep, yeah, and they're he's also doing other brunches. stuff. They're doing the, the drag brunch and other brunches. There's the swing dancing. So there's all sorts there's of stuff. all kinds of stuff yeah. that you can do if you're not invited to a wedding or a party. Yeah. There are events that you can pay to. Yeah, it looks like they're doing, I don't know if this is, if that swing dance is, is part of like Soul Jules or if they're just renting the space or whatever, but. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, okay, finally, because it's 7 6. My friends are waiting for me to get home. Um, starting on October 1st, in conjunction with the Amazing Rays, Pops Down Go Forth will be selling what? Pops Down flags. So uh, we have been very successful with our heart t shirts. There's a lot of our t shirts. Uh, so these are garden flags. The garden flags come with a stand, they're $25, or we have large 3 by 5 house flags. Uh, so let your freak flag fly, folks, and uh, purchase a pop down heart flag. Uh, all of the money through on sale, $25 for you know, the big flag or the garden flag, $25 through October. After October 31st, price goes to $30. All of the money raised during October is in conjunction with the amazing raise. Win-win-win. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been great. I know for those of you that don't love Pottstown enough to get a heart tattoo, you can just hang your heart flag. Love it. Drive through the 100 block of North Hanover Street. Or the 200 block of Chestnut Street. And you will see examples of these flags in action. Yep. Right. So they will be available on Pottstown website starting on October.
and I just I put a link to the website up on the screen so that people can see it and thank go you. to the website and support the 4th of July celebration. Thank you, thank you. Be a real patriot that supports the Constitution yes. and backs the blue. Yes. Not by beating them no. up. So take down your dad's flag because you don't really, don't really know what it means anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Take your dad's flag episode. down. You're not a patriot. Put up your hot stuff flag. <laughs> and there's all kinds of patriotic stuff that happened right here in Boston. Yes. We're going to have to revisit some of this stuff over the years. Yeah. And uh, speaking about history, Todd Bainbridge, mm -hmm. who's the Porchcast historian, is going to be back in yeah. on November 10th oh, great. to talk but about some is, is history. Really his his Pottstown uh, area collective history collection is really such a great page. I enjoy it. I'm going to put a link up to that. I enjoy it a lot. He's coming so in. That's what we got, folks. Yeah, he's coming in on the tent to talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think I just put the logo up on the screen. We've been hosted tonight by Pottstown United Brewing Company down here on High Street, right across the street from the very best once upon a time, Boots Global and Tompkins Bank. And Barrister's Bagels. And Barrister's Bagels. I think Tom for Barrister's Bagels was having dinner at pub earlier tonight. That was the guy in the flat shirt that was sitting oh, at the okay. bar. I don't know him. I He's only know Jerry. Just a bagel yeah, I only know Jerry. And uh, anyway, uh, come on down to pub. They gave us a four top on Thursday nights. We appreciate and it. We appreciate it a lot. Good beer, good food, good company. Mm -hmm. There was a healthy dose of uh, porch Tonians in the crowd. Certainly tonight. a good no Hanno representation there. Yeah, Love for it. sure. So come on down. Please support Pottstown United Brewing Company. They support you. They support us. We support you. Everybody it's, supports it's everybody. Support. And support the foundation by buying your tickets to the Night of the Races fundraiser, October 8th. Race some horses without the smell. Have fun. Have fun. Pull yes. some wine. Offer your guests. Exactly. It'll be fun. I'm going to put right. Joe uh, Rusevich's uh, information back up. Remember, you're emailing your answers to the trivia to Pottstown 12, PottstownK12.org. At this point in time, you're going to have to go back and rewatch the show to the trivia, but I did put the trivia questions up on the show. If you are interested in watching the show at a later date, YouTube is your better option. Go to Portuguese Pottstown on YouTube, yeah. and our previous episodes are much easier to search and find. Joe Savage, since we're breaking it down towards the end of the show, what say you, good man? Well, thank you both for having me here. Enjoy it. Uh, as always, always a pleasure. It's always good to see you besides the back door. Besides in the parking lot. <laughs> Passing on your way to work and my yeah. way coming in. And uh, looking forward to our October amazing race. Mm -hmm. And, you know, support all 50 some organizations that especially go forth and yes. foundation plots of education. Course. Excellent. Thanks for uh, joining us here, Joe. The show is nothing without uh, class participation or without community participation. And Joe Rusevich is a shining example of that. Not only is he a watcher of the show, he shares the show out on his news feeds, he helps promote the show, and he contributes to society by helping people and businesses and the students here in Pottstown. If you would like to participate in Porchcast Pottstown, please send us an email at Porch, excuse me, send us an email at Pottstown.com at gmail.com. We're taking questions, comments, and critique. Or if you want to ask about an available date for your business or organization to be on the show, send us an email at Pottstown Reports at gmail.com. Thanks for the love. I'm guessing that's pretty good. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. The hosts <laughs> of Porchcast Pottstown. I am Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. I am your local real estate expert. Do me a favor and Google 768 Queen Street. There's a $5,000 grant available to help you purchase that home. If you are a renter. If you are a renter, yep. it's being supplied by Hillbards Run. Matt Green is your local real estate expert. I can help you sell and buy residential and commercial real estate. Each wolf is the lovely 
business manager at the Walker and Associates, bringing a fine legal service in the borough of Potsdam since 1973. That's almost 50 years, 50 y'all. year anniversary next year. Yeah, craziness. Levi Wolf is your court approved. What is he again? He's a work certified work. workers' He's compensation a, specialist. He's been approved by the yeah. courts in Pennsylvania. Yeah. This is not an easy no, test. No, it's not. He said it was a harder test than the bar. Than the bar. Yeah. If you need help with workers' compensation yeah. issues, contact the folks over there at yeah. Walkman and Assist. You Zero cost for the yeah. consultation. If you're already getting wage loss benefits, they're probably being calculated incorrectly. <sighs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Happens a lot. Yep. Anyway, we are Portuguese. Let's talk soon.